Hold up. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I think that's better. But hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a good day. It is Sunday and I am uploading. Yes, I am. Finally. The week break, about a weekish break because I was school stuff and volleyball tryouts i couldn't film for like three days so we had volleyball tryouts for three days and so i'm here okay so i wanted to and my hair is looking a little crazy i know just bear with me for a second okay so in this video i wanted to talk to you guys about ways to spend more time with god because i realized i have not talked about god that much in my channel and i probably should because i am a christian and um yeah so we need to talk about god today um if you guys aren't christian or whatever you can totally not watch this video but i'm just saying if you want to be or if you already are and you just don't know how to really spend time with him like you know you're just like oh okay so how do i do that exactly this is the video for you okay so I have my notes here don't mind i did pretty colors for this video see because and we're gonna talk about it so yeah but before we start don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and why don't you do it right now because what are you doing if you're not so I'll give you a few minutes to do that Hi, Murphy. Where are you? did you do it yay welcome to the family okay now we can get started so this video is gonna be in parts called topics so one way to spend time with god is to listen to christian music and now you don't have to do this all day long you shouldn't like do it every single second of every day i mean if you can that's perfect that's wonderful but of course if you are trying to figure out how you can spend time with god you probably aren't gonna like start listening to it all the time and i get that that's a thing and when i i don't remember i grew up <clears throat> I grew up Christian and we were very strict about it. We go to church every single week. The only times we won't go to church is if you're sick, like sick where it's contagious. If you had a little cold, you're still going, you know. Um, no choice or not. So that's why. And um, uh, yeah, so for me, it was easier. I don't remember what age I really got saved. I think it was like six I got saved and baptized, I think, or eight. I don't remember. But when I really started, I was already kind of in the faith, you know what I'm saying? Because we grew up like that. But if you haven't grew, grown up um, in the faith, like Christian, that it's going to be more harder, quote, quote, saying to like get into all that stuff, which is totally fine. This is the video for you. So if you are like, you know, just starting to get into the Christian thing, you know, Start by listening to Christian music. You don't have to go all out. Just listen to maybe one song in the morning. And then that one song will become two songs in the morning. And then that two songs will become five songs throughout the day. You know, so just start by listening to God's music. It doesn't have to be like a long song. It's like my favorite Christian song right now is Defender by Francesca Battistelli. That song is really good. I guarantee you to watch it. Um, yeah, so like I said, even if it's one time a day, just listen to God the music that will get your mindset into the Christian feel. And there's some really good Christian music out there, you know. Some of my favorite artists are Toby Mac, Jeremy Camp, Lauren Daigle, um, there's so many. Francesca Bastelli, um, what is it? Um, Casting Crowns, they just they made a new song. It's not even that new, but like, you know, it's really good. Um, so many people, I can't remember. Um, Riley Clemens, there's um so many out there if you just search oh for king country this if you just search gospel music or christian music a whole bunch will come up okay just start with that and hopefully you can keep searching for more if that makes sense the next topic is kind of a little extreme quote quote i'm not gonna say extreme just a little rough sometimes is to set a time for god um a lot of us think we don't have time and yet we scroll on Instagram, scroll on Snapchat, we 
do random stuff that's not even important. Sit in my room, um, playing with slime. When we could be spending time with God. So think of it as this. God created you, okay? Um, let's say I made a hamster. Where's my hamster? Murphy, where are you? I'm just sleeping. Let's say I made my hamster Murphy. This is my hamster Murphy, everybody. Say hi. Murphy is like not in a good mood. Okay, so let's say I made Murphy. Okay, like I just poof. So wouldn't I want to spend time with him? Like, wouldn't I want him to like spend time with me? Wouldn't I want him to like at least hug me sometimes? Or when I le least want him to say hi to me, you know, if hamsters would talk, you know, this is a metaphor, but um, I'm saying God wants to spend time with you guys. Thanks for letting me use you for an illustration, Murphy. Anywho, so doesn't, don't you think God wants to spend time with you, especially if you're his child? You know, he wants a relationship with you. He wants to be your friend. God's like your father and a friend. Okay, does it, don't you want to like, you know, um, Spend time with him, okay, because when we spend time with God, even just talking to him, like with your eyes open, because you know people are like, oh, when you pray, you have to fold your hands, you have to close your eyes, you know, um, when you're praying with like your family stuff, you have to do that, but um, you don't always have to pray like that by yourself. I like to do, like when I'm praying with my family and everything, I just say like, dear God, please help everybody, amen, you know, a quick one, because I am meaning it at the same time, but like, I don't want to tell God everything at that point moment with what everyone's listening so what i do is when i'm sleeping or like when i go to bed i since i'm only child and i get to share i get to sleep in my own bed if you guys have siblings that sleep in your bed just wait till they brush their teeth or something and then you know talk to god for a bit so yeah i don't know what i was just talking about but i think it was off topic so setting a time for god basically if you have time to do other things you can have time to talk to him just saying because if you, while you're scrolling on instagram and stuff you can put your phone down say you know god hi i didn't like my day today um anthony he called me a brat at school i didn't like that can you like you know make sure he doesn't get to me the next day and he answers those small prayers i mean he might not answer for everybody but like and i don't know blah, 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 blah. when i'm at school I'll say, like, oh, I tripped on the stairs, God, please help me, like, you know, not to feel anyway, because we have stairs, and it is tough. I see people tripping on them every day. But anywho, yeah, so just, if you pray to him for even the small things, even if you lost your pencil and you can't find it, he will help you find it, because that's the kind of father he is. Topic three is to find a group. Now that you've listened to Christian music, you set a time for God, you know, you can maybe get out there, you know, and find a church group. So I go to two-ish kind of churches. I mean, I'm a membership at one, and then this other church I go to sometimes. You know, I visit a lot. Like, I go to another, not city. Oh, I guess city, like, different cities around churches. You know, I'm in a group where we, like, minister, like, a youth group. I'm in, like, two youth groups, and I have um, another group that my runs and it's like a big group where we just go out help people and stuff and it's good because it's ministry and helping out the way so if you can find a youth group or at least a church that you um can feel good at that's great because you're really taking it another level and that's really good for you to you know get out there and stuff so topic four kind of like topic number two like i said said time for god this one's talk to him um, I didn't really get into depth with set a time for God, so let's go back to topic number, um, two. Setting a time for God, you don't have to just talk to him, you could do other stuff, you know. Look at nature, go outside, admire the trees, you know. But this one, topic four, talk to him, you know, pray, talk to him. You don't have to fold your arms, God, I didn't like, you know, just talk to him like, oh, um, how was your day today, God? Oh, you made the birds look really nice today, you know, just a little something to like get a conversation going because after all he is your friend and you guys spend time with him sometimes topic number five is read the word so i'm going to do a video of me studying my bible because i have my bible journal that's on the bed okay so this is my bible journal i got it at marshall's and it literally has a verse on it 
And when you like open up the pages, it has verses on the top. So I already filled out about this much all the way. Almost, not really. But um, yeah, so I will do a video of me studying the Bible, so you know, tips and like how to do it because yeah, this is gonna be a series now, I guess. So yeah. But anywho, so reading your Bible will not only get you closer to him, but it has a lot of truth in it. Like, Bible has some really good stuff. Like, really good stuff. So yeah, reading the word and trusting him will just get you where you want to go. So, let me read this closing for you guys, hopefully to make your day a little better. And my hair is... I don't know what's going on with it. So God wants to be with you. He is the most loving and accepting thing in the world. Well, universe, because he, he doesn't live in the world. So don't feel like you're not perfect enough because he doesn't need you to be perfect. He just wants you. So take that as a personal thing that God doesn't care how many flaws you, excuse me, how many flaws you have, how many bad things you've done. A lot of us have done so many bad things before. Um, you could kill, my mom always uses this, you could kill everyone in the world and God will still forgive you. So there's nothing bad you've done that he can't forgive you. So I hope this was your motivation and I hope you can take something from this video. So love you guys so much. Um, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and this video, follow me on Insta right here. Love you. Again, bye. Hold up.